So today I'm going to show you guys how to play professional chords and melodies in FL Studio Mobile as a beginner, please. Um, in case you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. So let's set our tempo. I'll be using a tempo of 420 BPM. So let's play something real simple first. If I want to play chord, I always start with my root notes. And um, for this chord, my root note is G, D, E, C. It's a C major chord. After you get your root note, the next thing is to build your chord around them. So this is what your basic chord looks like. Let's listen to what it sounds like. So now let's go down and add our bass notes to the chord progression. So the last notes on your chords are usually the same as your bass note. For example, the last note is D, so we can just come with D. You can see it here D. Then the other one is also D. Then the next one is E, while the next one is C. So this is our bass note. But if you want to make it thicker, you can just add some extra notes in the middle. Just add some extra notes and make sure the notes you are adding are also part in that chord progression unit. So let's listen to how it's sounding now. So now let's go back to the top and add some melodies. I'll make it very easy for you to understand how to play melodies alongside chord progression. So we just add some simple melody to the first chord. So you add another melody to the other part of the chord. The best way to get a good melody is, is to make sure you take your time and play them one by one, just the way I'm doing it called after chord. So let's listen to what this one is going to sound like. Let's bring this down here. Okay. And for the last part, I'm going to loop it so that it will just sound like it was a loop. So something like just cut this one and bring one down here. Or let's bring it down to this place here. So let's listen. So now let's cut out some frequencies by adding the param EQ. So we have to cut out some high and low frequencies to make it sound real good and professional. So let's play it while adding the EQ. So, so just make sure you're paying attention to what I'm about to do. This is how you cut out frequencies from your MIDI keyboard, from your chords and anything. From your vocals, this is how you cut out frequencies. So this is where I'm going to end today's tutorial. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Bye.